So they're going to take it, and I would be surprised if they do, Adam, but 500 bucks is a good payout. 500 bucks is, as we said, it's a generous offer from Dernan Motorsports. Traffic is going to be a big issue tonight. 25 cars on this small racetrack. I think starting in the front row, they're going to see plenty of traffic as it is. They want to keep that view. Race director Doug Leonard will issue the channel. We'll let you know. <laughs> Who said it the other night? Said this is just like watching the movie Cars. Because they'll ask the pole sitter if they want to take the challenge. If they don't want to take the challenge, they wiggle the front end of the race car. If they do want to take the challenge, they immediately pull out of line, slow down, and drop to the back. So, folks, you're going to watch with us as these drivers communicate with their front wings. Field taking shape. Doug Leonard is about to give the Dernan Motorsports front row challenge. Watch the front row to see if they wiggle their race car. Let me bring in Doug Leonard, our race director. All right, here we go, guys. It'll be the front row challenge, 12. Do you want it? Wiggles, no. It goes to the 43H. Wiggles, no. OK, we both declined it. We'll line up as we are. Man, I've only ever seen race car drivers say no with their middle finger, but now they can do it with the front wing and the steering wheel. This is progress, folks. So Adam, a couple of notes from the pits. Davey Bouton, they forgot the safety clip on the wheel, said it was a stupid mistake, and uh, he'll take the heat for that. He got it back out. No damage, just had the left uh, rear tire come off. Brandon Morell out of Coburg, they hit the tree up there. They damaged the top wing, the side crash bar, and a bit of the rear suspension, but nothing they couldn't fix with a size 12 boot. Did, did he have some cobwebs? Is that why they walked him towards the ambulance? Uh, and whenever you take a hard hit here, our medical team with the Action Sprint Tour makes you at least take a time out to get assessed properly, and they felt he was good to go, so he was able to join the team and work on the car. There you have it. That's the report. Uh, another note we talked about earlier, Hannah Farrell in that four machine had a stuck throttle in, uh, in hot laps. The team got that issue addressed. It was the linkage catching on the air cleaner. Well, those are the stories we have from the pits, folks. We're about to go racing in the action sprint tour. Brad Heron in the orange and white number 12. Ryan Hunsinger in the red number 43, bringing them through three and four. Green flag is out. advantage down into turn number one, but Ryan Hunsinger, high wide the hands to the bottom three. Hunsinger off turn number four, lap number one, the Gunslinger's gonna lead him. Sean Evans, third AJ Lewis, for the Leo Martin, just past the Holly Ford, your top seven, the leaders are off turn two. Brad Heron made a great move late in his qualifying heat to get that transfer spot, earn the front row start, he's not giving up the lead easy. as high on the racetrack as anybody out there. 15 thousandths of a second with Smith Branch left the line. Now Hunsinger will clear him by two tenths as the caution is out. Caution is out. They're telling people to go low in turn number two. We got a car out of shape on the outside. 18X of Davey Bouton out of shape off the racetrack. He elected to not race Friday night at our Schweiken Speedway says, I race on a low budget. The track conditions are tough. I want to save my car to go to Merrickville. I'm looking forward to going on the road and, uh, and playing with a traveling series. Tires are the same. Everything's exact same as their big brother, so they can just pull it right out, go right to it. And we've seen guys make that jump already. So, and to answer your question, you're right. Guys like Liam Martin is only about 15 years old. Uh, Josh Hansen out there also only around 15. Hannah Farrell, I don't think is 19 yet. You've got a whole bunch of them out there that are youngsters ready to go. We're going to go back to green flag. Remember the cone is in place off of turn number four, about halfway between turn four and the start finish line. Don't hit the cone. Don't go under the cone. Don't pass before the cone. <laughs>
to reel in Brad Heron who battles mid back all over the place here. Miracle Heron, new race leader, entering one. Ryan Hunter, you're up into the boat, losing the lead. You can only dance with the devil in turn four for so long before she finally bites you. I would have to say that Ryan's the last guy I probably would have expected to make that mistake on the outside. And he's got to be beating himself up over it. He's, he screwed himself in a way that most of these drivers won't even approach the outside of turn four because it doesn't feel good. Huntinger knows it can work, but he knows it can bite you in the butt, and that's what it did. Well, let's see what we've got here with 10 laps to go in this 20 lap. Round number two for the Action Sprint Tour presented by RaceRivals.com. What we're going to have here is Huntsinger's got a lot of speed at him, and you taught me many years ago, if you want to pass cars, go where the other guys aren't, and Huntsinger's doing exactly that. So he does have hope. The question is, will he get enough yellows and get enough time to get through back to the front? Well, I can tell you this. It's a good thing we've got two eyes, because I would have one eye on the battle at the front, Sean Evans trying to contend for the win, along with Holly Porter, and I would keep the other eye on that 43H coming from the back, because you know what, Clint? The outside screwed him tonight, and that's exactly where he's going to go to try to make his way back through this field. How do you get your eyes to do that? Practice. <laughs> Lots of practice. I, I've been watching races here a long time. I've never been able to cover turn four and one at the same shot. Maybe that's why you're better now too than me. I, you know, it's, it's funny. When, when sprint cars first started coming to us weekend speedway, and you'll know this, you were stuck in the tower. I could announce from anywhere I wanted. And I used to sit on a tractor about 200 yards off the end of the racetrack because <laughs> yeah. it's the only way you could see them all the way around. That's true. Now, Hunsinger, he's got the outside lane. has been open. He hasn't been afraid to put it in the moat. Any predictions on how far he can get back through this field in 10 laps? Depends how many times he can run through the moat before he stuffs it in the fence. Good one. <laughs> he, he's going he's gonna to go to that line. He's going to push the limit. What he needs to do is get to the outside a little bit earlier in the turn so he can get some bite off the cushion between three and four because there's not much to lean on. Once you get to turn four, if your momentum is still taking you up the racetrack, you run out of options. But going back to the fact that Clint was stuck in the tower, now our role is reversed and you're stuck in the tower and Clint can go and out wherever he wants to? Yeah, but you know what, Stephen? I'm old now. I am really old and that tower is comfortable and the chair is padded. And it's air conditioned, so that helps too over the summer. I when imagine. I was young, when I was young, I was fine standing on the top of the tractor. Now I like my comforts. They tend to bring you food up there too, and we don't get that in the infield. So Who brings us food? Oh, come on. The Burger Barn guys have brought you food. You were crying for pizza on Friday. I even lost that, but I didn't get my pizza either, for the record. But what a show the Crate Sprints are putting on here tonight. Great uh, car counts for them to get out. First time outside of the Oshweekin Park, and uh, we're real proud of the, the crew that came here tonight. We want to thank them for everything they've done. They had a long weekend too, Adam, as you know, trying conditions at Oshweekin, and uh, a lot of these guys had to work hard to be back here. Josh Hansen, the uh, former go-kart champion here, who has having his first shot here on the big track in competition. You know, they they destroyed their car Friday night, so they had to start over and get ready to go along. At the front, that car should be technically a little bit looser driving than Holly Porter, who's got a lot more angle in hers, driving the back end down. We're about to go green, 10 laps down, 10 laps to go. Keep your eye on that 43H at the back, ladies and gentlemen, Ryan Hunsinger. Putting on the show through the first 10. He's going to be a show coming up for the next 10. Here we go. Back out. We'll turn it back to Adam and Steven. Off the restart. 
Star Green, Brad Heron leads them. Liam Martin looks to the outside of Holly Porter for the third spot. Our eyes glued on the gunslinger, Ryan Hudson, here. See if he can work his way back up. And Heron leads them with nine to go. Hunsinger advanced a few spots, just about put it backwards off the end of the racetrack in turn number one. They'll put Jesse Costa back in front of the 29. So Jesse Costa in the 52 machine running in the fourth position. 29, Liam Martin fifth. Paul Klager in the 1A in only a second race in the sprint car running in the sixth spot. Just ahead of Aaron Turkey in the 68 machine. Trevor Young in the 51 is gonna get the free pass. It looks like Jacob Dykstra maybe being put ahead of the 56 of Derek Lemaire. Is Here at Nomura, I'll just take your microphone away. <laughs> oh, the things I've had taken away. White flag is out. We'll set him loose. This time, Sean Evans gonna lead the way in that Beautiful red and white 87. Brad Heron in the 12 holds on to second. Holly Porter's been standing strong in the third spot. Jesse Costa in the 52 runs fourth. Liam Martin in the 29 rounds out the top five. Seven laps remain. Green flag is out. Sean Evans on the loud pedal on a turn. Sean Evans up front, Aaron second, Holly Porter third, Jesse Costa fourth, Liam Martin five, Aaron Turkey is there to make his presence known the 68. He's looking for a top line on. Ryan Hunter, you're doing what he can just to go back to the top 10 at 438. I might pass him out there, but out in front, it is Sean Evans seeing five laps to go. Thomas in the 52. 
Jesse is going to be a force to be reckoned with in the crates this year. There's no doubt. Had a great run at Tosh Week in there on Friday night. And Aaron Turkey just behind him. I think if they finish there, they're almost going to be tied for the point lead coming out of this weekend, uh, depending on how they end up there. Sean Evans, just want to make a quick mention to him. If you don't know Sean, super great guy, super a real gentleman of the sport, but he's a sprint car star in the making. Adam Smooth, really good. He's got Daryl Turford and the Miles Hill team behind him. Uh, those are the types of guys who are out running with Sam Hayfertip on the national tour, and and Sean's got they got the parts, they got the pieces, he's got the experience, and I think this is going to be the breakout year for Sean Evans. And great sponsorship. Let's, Absolutely. Let's talk about the stars of this division that we lost. Yeah. Mac Demand, the driver of the four car, Mike Thorne, the Burger Barn 55. I mean, we've seen some great drivers move on over the years. We've seen a lot of. I'm always going to say it. It broke going in, spot. of course. Yes. Well, Maryville fans, we thank you so much for having the Action Sprint Tour here tonight. want to thank Don and Lorraine and all their staff for bringing us in. Uh, hopefully your fans enjoyed what you're seeing here with the crate sprints, and we'll be back again later in the season. But it's going to be an amazing finish to this one. Still keep your eye on Ryan Huntsinger. He's made his way through half the field, and when that caution came out, he took him three deep, passing a bunch. So watch it. Here we go. He's going to take a chance. Sean Evans crawling through turns three and four. One lap to settle the score. After one and takes Sean Evans and separates himself from the field. Aaron Turkey looking to make a move. Turkey trying to look underneath Holly Porter. Here they come off four. Sean Evans is going to win here in Maryville. Here in second. Oh, Bingy across the line for third. Costa ahead of Turkey. Holly Porter, Jacob Dykstra, Leo Martin, Paul Klager, Derek Lemaire, and Josh Hansen, your unofficial top 10 finishers. Steven, you know how you can tell how young these drivers are? Jesse Costa was almost in the third row of the grandstands, and he still hadn't lifted, kept his foot in it. Man, oh man. What a great show. I hope you fans enjoyed it as much as I do. This division has really gotten me excited about things. Clinton Jeffrey heading down to Victory Lane, where Sean Evans puts himself on the record book with a win in the Action Sprint Tour presented by RaceRivals.com. If you like that one, make some noise, Merrittville. Well, ladies and gentlemen, here he comes out of the Total Rentals Ackland Insurance 87. How about a hand for Sean Evans? Well, Sean Evans takes the safety gear off down here in action sprint tour victory lane. We'll get a quick word with them and then we'll get the modifieds out for their Brian Stevens Memorial event. Sean, what a great run for you. We talked about how you're a sprint car star in the making. You've got a great team behind you. This car ran flawless for you tonight. Talk about your drive. Yeah, man, my team is, uh, without them, I'm nothing. So they get my car going good every night. Daryl and the boys back in the pits had me set up pretty good. It was a little loose, but I mean, it worked out. And uh, I seen the Huntsinger and Braver running the turns, so 
I knew I had a little bit more than they did and just waited my time and finally got around them. So. How special is it to be here in Victory Lane at Maryville, a track we don't get to come to very often? It feels pretty good, man, since I've only ever been here once and I got to turn about three laps. So, yeah, it feels pretty good. Anybody you want to thank? I want to thank everybody, all my sponsors. Nathan Acklin Racing, for sure. Nathan Acklin, I mean, without him, we're nothing. And Miles, Miles and Pam from Townline Variety. I mean, Miles does everything for us back at the shop. Tate's Automotive, Total Rentals, Sty's Tree Service, Bobcat. I mean, every other sponsor we got, Strode's, Country RV, Tough. Everybody's uh, a big part of what we do every week, so I appreciate it. There he is, ladies and gentlemen. I'd like to thank my wife, because without her, I ain't making it here every week. So it works out. Smart man. How about it, ladies and gentlemen, for Sean Evans? Your Action Sprint Tour feature winner here tonight. We'll get a quick word with second place Brad Heron. Brad, you just recently got in this ride in the off season. What a pretty good start. Starting on the front row both nights. Not the finish you want on Friday, but a good start tonight. Yeah, you know, it's, uh, it is a hell of a debut with this, uh, this organization. Uh, I'm just, I'm still kind of blown away. At, I'm standing here talking to you, first of all. Um, but just how the whole thing went down. I mean, when you start into this racing business, you just want to be associated with the best. And uh, when it happens, it's a little bit of an all moment. So, um, yeah, great first night for us. Second place, there's Brad. Here we get over here and Jesse Costa. Jesse, you're going to be in the running for the point total after a solid top three run on uh, Friday. And now a good run here tonight. You're probably going to come out of this weekend with the point to uh, lead so far. What's your thoughts on that? Oh, yeah, it's awesome. I've never really led the points in these at all or been close. But uh, I got to thank Wells Foundry. DNO Towing, Best Safety Training, Magnum Signs, my parents, um, my crew, Stephen Goldner, and my girlfriend at home for being so supportive of all this. Takes a lot of time to get all these out here. All right, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. How to hand for your top three in the Action Sprint Tour presented by RaceRivals.com. Sean Evans, your winner, Brad Heron second, and Jesse Costa rounding out the top three. Adam, a great show here tonight. We'll wrap it up. Thanks so much for having us, Jim. It's been a great time. Appreciate having you guys here and that stuff. Clinton, Adam. Great race, great show you put on, that's for sure. Remember, folks, hey, every Friday night on the Sweegan Speedway, you can catch the crate sprint as well as the 360. So get out there if you want to see a great show. Every Friday a Sweegan Speedway. Stephen J. Petty, up to you. Thank you very much, Jim Hanley. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight's starting lineup. For the fourth annual Bryant Stevens Memorial. We will start in row number nine. He drives the Blue Moon Potatoes. Cameras.